Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the second lecture of MIMO and in the first lecture we have already seen this antenna ports and physical antenna and we have seen <coughs> each antenna ports has its own reference signal. Okay, so our next topic is the reference signal. Okay, so let's start with its definition. So reference signal is used to determine char characteristics of communication channel known as channel estimation. Okay, so you might have heard that reference signal is used for uh, channel estimation, correct? Channel estimation. Okay, but how? Okay, for that, let me consider an example. So, this is my E node B. Okay, and this is my UE. Okay, and one more thing is very uh, special about this reference signal is that reference signal is made up of data known to both TX and RX. So it means uh, reference signal is a signal which is known to both your uh, E node B and your UE. Okay, right. So reference signal, let me write down it here that reference signal is known to both E node B and UE. Okay, so uh, let's consider an example. So suppose my reference signal is S equal to 2. Okay, it is just an example. Okay, okay, so let's say S equal to 2 is my reference signal. Okay, so as I told you, this reference signal is known value, right? Known to whom? known to E node B and known to UE. Okay, UE uh, knows that I should receive S equal to 2 if E node B is sending me reference signal. Okay, so let's suppose it has transmitted this reference signal. Okay, but uh, between UE and E node B, there is wireless channel, right? This is my wireless channel wireless channel or you could say it, uh, radio conditions okay means there will be uh, means uh, wireless condition or radio condition it could add some noise okay it could add some noise or some phase shift to our original signal okay so let's say due to noise and phase shift this s equal to 2 becomes s equal to 4 okay means ue has received s equal to 4 but ue knew that i should receive s equal to 2 but actually i have received s equal to 4 so ue observed that uh, radio conditions are adding a unit of 2 whatever this E node B is sending to me okay so if E node B send <coughs> let's say 100 uh, let me use different color let's say if E node B is sending 100 so what you will receive you will receive 102 okay okay so this reference signal means as it was known to both E node B and UE just because of that thing U is able to calculate that uh, radio condition is adding a unit of plus 2 to the signals uh, which E node B is sending to me okay so this thing this plus 2 things plus 2 thing uh, due to radio condition UE will convey this thing to E node B okay it will say to e node b hey hey e node b whatever you are sending to me radio condi conditions are adding plus 2 unit to it okay so now e node b will uh, get this thing and now uh, e node b will be careful I means suppose uh, if e node b wants to send wants to send let's say uh, 10 okay let's e node b wants to send s equal to 10 Okay, so instead of sending 10, E node B will send S equal to 8 
okay and edu conditions will add unit 2 to it and you will get you will get s equal to 10 okay i hope you uh, get the concept okay now let's consider the real scenario just a second okay so let's talk about 2 cross 2 mimo okay so this is my tx unit so it has two antennas and this is my rx unit and in actual they are their antenna boards okay uh, for details you have to um, visit my first tutorial okay this is antenna that rx side okay so let's say uh, this is sending signal T1 and this is uh, this is receiving R1 it is not getting T1 I'll tell you why and this is sending this antenna is sending T2 and receiver is receiving R2 okay so this is your coefficient kind of coefficient you can say x11 and this is your x12 okay and this is x21 and this is x22 okay so these are the coefficients or you can say these are changes these four things that, that i have mentioned x11 x12 x21 and x22 these are the changes that uh, wireless condition or radio condition are uh, added to our original transmitted signal okay so if we write down the matrix so it will look like t1 t2 the second uh, it will be like r1 r2 and this is my h matrix x11 x12 x21 and x22 and this is my T1 and T2. Okay, so this is transmitted signal, this is received signal, and this is the changes done by radio condition. Okay, changes done by radio condition in our original signal original signal was t1 t2 correct so <coughs> if this is reference signal and this is also reference signal okay both are known to tx and rx entities okay so we can easily calculate this matrix this matrix is represented by h matrix okay so this is these are the means these are the effects of radio condition you can say okay let's read down uh, all these things quickly how channel estimation is performed so we'll start from here transmit a known signal we normally call this as reference signal or pilot signal and detect the receive signal okay so this is the first thing so as i told you here we send this thing right s equal to 2 so this is known thing right s equal to 2 is known to e node b as well as to your ue okay so so the, so the same thing is mentioned here okay 
नॉन सिग्नल रिफरेंस सिग्नल एस इक्वल टू टू इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल ओके नॉन सिग्नल इज रिफरेंस सिग्नल एंड डिटेक्ट द रिसीव सिग्नल ओके सो वी डिटेक्टेड हेयर एस इक्वल टू फोर राइट वी डिटेक्टेड एस इक्वल टू फोर ओके नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज बाई कंपेयरिंग द ट्रांसमिटेड सिग्नल एंड रिसीव सिग्नल वी कैन फिगर आउट ईच एलिमेंट्स ऑफ चैनल मैट्रिक्स ओके सो इफ यू कंपेयर दिस फोर एंड टू सो विल विल गेट वॉट चेंजेस आर डन बाई दिस रेडियो कंडीशन ओके सो सिमिलर वे विल गेट दिस मैट्रिक्स सो सेम थिंग दे आर सेंग वी कैन फिगर आउट ईच एलिमेंट्स ऑफ चैनल मैट्रिक्स वी कॉल इट चैनल मैट्रिक्स Okay, so this is how uh, channel estimation is performed using a reference signal. Okay, so in next tutorial we are going to start this MIMO. Okay, okay, thanks for watching.